see in the market. Uh, and I'm going to make a very blunt and blatant statement if you may, and you know, part of my brevity. But uh, most of the award functions that you see are, are sponsored in some fashion or the other. We wanted to actually start an exclusive, vendor-free series of uh, facilitation for the people who have done a great job in their in their roles as IT leaders. We wanted to create a community which does not have any influence of of any cell from any vendor of any sort. So we are we are an analyst firm and we want to keep it that way. Um, there are lots of these awards which which will talk about excellence in storage, excellence in server, excellence in the software ecosystem, and. When I was thinking about it, and I was like, well, that's not the right thing to do. Nobody actually today buys hardware for the sake of buying hardware. So we, we wanted to come up with a new concept around innovation. So I did my soul searching and I did my secondary research, and I found out that I was not the first one doing an innovation award. So then I said, how to make it different? So I went through the, the, the nomination forms for all these innovation awards in the market, and none of them actually you know, measured the people side of it. So which we thought would be an interesting angle to take on the board as to when there is a business side of innovation in every project, there is a technology side of innovation in every project. Uh, we wanted to also bring in a new element of how do you ensure the new project that you have is also managing people. Because change management is the biggest component of any IT project. And you know, and again, um, pardon my brevity, but a lot of CNCIOs out there quite you know, miss this very important element of an IT project, which is change management. So we wanted to actually you know, take care and ensure that we make that as an integral part of the process. We started uh, promoting this campaign about uh, a couple of months ago uh, with four sub partners, Information Week, Shrikant, and uh, Nivedan have been very kind to us. So as part of the process, we got you know, over 50 nominations. Uh, you know, my team and I personally, we scanned through every project to ensure that they were credible outcomes. So there were some nominations we had to say no to, simply because they said, uh, we have saved costs. I said, excellent. <laughs> we all save costs. But how much, how, where, and you know, what's the real outcome? So, you know, we've actually taken the call of not going ahead with any of these projects which did not actually give clear outcomes on the businesses and only came up with a list of 12 key projects that we thought had a tangible business outcome for the organization. Another judging parameter was involvement with the business. Um, a lot of these projects we thought were very IT-led and we didn't want those projects to be a part of this facilitation ceremony. So what we did instead is to ensure every project that's been taken on board has some sort of buy-in if not sponsorship and complete from the business side as well. Uh, once we screened all these nominations, then we you know, passed it on to our partners, Information Week, who also did their due diligence around it. Uh, so we have a list of 11 key people who have actually won these awards. Um, so I'm going to be doing the least, least of the talking and maximum of hearing. What I'm going to do as part of the process is I'm going to call upon Sushri Kantera up on the stage so that he can give out these awards to all of these you know, winning CIOs. Uh, I'm also going to call upon every winning CIO to talk two minutes about, two to three minutes about their uh, their project and just focus on two key things, which is what was the business outcome and how big was the buy-in from the management to really take on that project. Can I also then call upon Mr. Chaturvedi from Perfetti, please? Can we have a round of applause?